Welcome back to Real Shit, where we like to talk real shit all day, every day, all for the love of movies. I am Joe, and today I'm here to do a quick reaction, maybe not so quick, depends on how long I want to talk about it, but I'm going to do a reaction to the big news of the day, and that is that WB is officially releasing the Snyder Cut of Justice League on HBO Max in 2021 as either a four-hour movie or a miniseries. I'm going to get into it right now, but before I do, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Any little bit of feedback or support would be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, I'm going to get right into it because this is a pretty major day. Um, this is something that is not common in entertainment or in fandom. Usually you'll see a lot of people start these petitions or try to start a movement to get behind an idea to get something released by a studio or re-edited or recasted or whatever the case may be and these things never work. Um, there's a long history of these things not working but in this particular case the release to Snyder Cut movement has actually worked. It got the attention of the right people clearly. It got the studio to take a second look at things and for them to realize that things weren't as dire as they made it out to be. Now, when Batman vs. Superman was released, there was a lot of people who liked it. There's a lot of people who loved it. There's a lot of people who didn't like it. But either way, WB got cold feet. I think they lost faith in Zack Snyder for whatever reason. And not that I'm saying that they were glad that he stepped away from Justice League because obviously it was horrible circumstances. But I think they took that opportunity to try and take the franchise in a different direction and they hired Joss Whedon who is famous for you know the Avengers movies and they were trying to I guess add this Marvel-esque comedic flair to Justice League and in my personal opinion and a lot opinion of a lot of people it just didn't work um, that's not what we want out of these movies if we wanted a Marvel movie we would go see a Marvel movie we don't want to see a repeat of what Marvel does. We want our own thing. We want something different. And that's what Zack Snyder gave us. Zack Snyder gave us the DCEU as we know it. Wonder Woman, who, which everyone liked, wouldn't exist without Zack Snyder. Aquaman, which everyone liked, wouldn't exist without Zack Snyder. Like, he's the reason that those movies are happening. And he did a lot for the comic book movie industry and whether people want to admit it or not I believe this is just in my heart of hearts that Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman are two of the best comic book movies ever made I know a lot of people don't agree with that and that's fine you're allowed to have that opinion you're allowed to not like a movie it's all subjective but if there's anything that this I guess this movement has taught us is that people there are fans of Zack Snyder. There's a lot of people who are behind his vision for the DCEU or who enjoyed his vision of the DCEU. And I think WB finally recognized that and they realized that maybe moving away from Zack's vision wasn't necessarily the right call because Justice League didn't do well. Um, Batman vs. Superman and Man of Steel did pretty well financially. And you know what? They're both being looked upon more favorably as time goes on, too. Not by everyone, because there's still people who are going to hate them, sure, but I think Batman vs. Superman, when the extended cut came out on, on Blu-ray, that even that changed people's minds, but it seems to me that the more farther away we get removed from that movie, the more it gets respect from people, and the more people are able to soak it in, reinterpret it, and see that what he was doing was actually kind of special. And that's just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited about this because I've been on this bandwagon for a long time and I know there's going to be a lot of people who jump on the bandwagon now because, you know, they're looking for clicks or whatever the case may be. But the fact of the matter is, is I was one of those people, like everyone else who was a part of the release, the Snyder Cut movement, who fought for this, who used that hashtag as much as we possibly could, who sign petitions who for whatever the case may be whatever we had to do to get the powers that be at Warner Brothers to pay attention to us and it worked it worked because we are officially getting the Snyder Cut 
on HBO Max, and I can't be happier. And you know what? I have to others. I have to say this as well because this is something that I already noticed just from scrolling through social media today. After this announcement, is that people are already trying to downplay it. You know, the naysayers, the people that were like, "Oh, there is no Snyder cut. You're asking for something that doesn't exist. Zack Snyder sucks." Blah 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 blah. You know, the usual trolls that you see every day on social media. So I'm already seeing those people saying, well, look, they're bringing everybody back and they have to do all this editing and scoring and possibly bringing back actors. So clearly it doesn't exist. Clearly they're making it now. And I think that's just bullshit. I mean, in order to have this out in 2021, I would think they have a considerable amount of stuff. And we've seen a considerable amount of whether it be art or just ideas that Zach has shared with us through his social media. So... Don't sit there and tell me that this is all being done from scratch from here on out, because that's not the case. Everyone who's been involved with that movie has vouched for it, from Ben Affleck to Henry Cavill to Gal Gadot. Everyone has said that the Snyder Cut does exist, and now we're going to get it. So for all those people, those naysayers who are trying to rain on everyone's parade and basically trying to downplay this and act like we weren't right the whole time, I don't have a lot of respect for those people because, to be quite honest, if you don't like it, if you don't, if you're not excited about this news, then just don't talk about it. Why? Don't rain on everyone else's parade. You know, go watch whatever you want to watch and let us enjoy this because this is an epic win for fandom. Like this is something that I've never seen before. To be quite honest, in all my years of following any franchise, for that matter, but just following movies in general like we never get a reaction like this that we want we never get something released that was never supposed to see the light of day most times um, there's been rare occasions like the Donner cut for instance of Superman 2 or whatever the case may be minor things like that but they happen so far down the road that it doesn't even matter anymore this could possibly impact the DCU still and what I mean by that is Say this movie's released and it has a positive reaction of the fans, of maybe even critics, I doubt it because we know how they are, but maybe it gets a positive reaction and maybe it gets a more positive reaction than even they were expecting. So does this change their plans again? Do they say, well, maybe we do continue on with Henry Cavill. Maybe we do bring back Ben Affleck if he's still interested. I doubt he would be. I mean, that would be hard to do now because of the whole Robert Pattinson thing and that project. But, you know, maybe they have two different universes. I don't know. I'm just I'm just spitballing here. Like, if this does turn out to be something, and it's, you know, probably a year or more away, so things could still happen. People could, you know, get cold feet. People could have a family emergency. They'd step away, whatever the case may be, and this may still not happen. But just the, the matter that... It's been announced that we have this announcement that WB felt strongly enough about the support around this project that they are putting even more money into it than they already have. I mean, I think that's a major win no matter what, even if for some odd reason, I hope this doesn't happen, that we don't see it someday. But the whole point of this is, is that the Snyder Cut is happening. I'm excited about it. A lot of people are excited about it. If you're not excited about it, just shut up and let us be excited about it. Um, because this is something that a lot of us have wanted for a very long time. And I think that, to be quite honest, this is a huge win for WB, just in a sense of being a company that listens to the fan base. Um, this puts them miles ahead of some other companies, like Disney, for instance, who tell fans they're wrong all the time, or disrespect fans, or... People who speak out against uh, for things that they love and, and then they tell them they're wrong or they don't know what they're talking about. Like that's that's the kind of bad PR that gets you in the situations that a lot of studios are in right now where there's this bad relationship with the fans and you have this division among the fan base. And there's a bit of that going on with DC, but I think the release the Snyder Cut movement has unified a lot of people in a lot of ways. I know a lot of people aren't fond of the direction that DC has been going in. I happen to be one of them. Like, since the whole Snyder Cut has been abandoned, or excuse me, the Snyder Verse has been abandoned, 
I've steadily just kind of lost interest more and more as the movies came out. And that goes a lot to do with how much I just enjoyed Zack Snyder's vision. I think Zack Snyder is a underappreciated filmmaker, especially visually. Um, I think his movies are visually the most, some of the more interesting that I've ever seen, and that goes for all of them, including Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. Um, sure, maybe the stories aren't always, I guess, groundbreaking in a sense that we're they connect with you on many different levels but i really do think the story that he was trying to tell with superman and showing his evolution into becoming the superman that we know in the comics because yes he's not the superman we know in man of in man of steel but i think he would have got there had zach been allowed to fully you know re put out his vision and release his vision and give us his vision so and the same thing goes for Batman. I mean, there was an arc there. There was, yes, Batman had lost his way and he was going off the deep end and he was, and he was basically murdering people or at least acting in a way that is not very heroic. And the whole battle with Superman and him realizing that he needs to change his ways and that he had lost his way, I think that arc was not complete either. So all of this we're hopefully now going to get to see at least somewhat of a a finale to that story and at the very least even if it doesn't continue beyond what we're going to get with the Snyder cut of Justice League at least we'll have that three movie arc to always watch i mean now we'll have the Zack Snyder trilogy and that to me is the most exciting thing about this and something that should be celebrated if you're a fan like this is a win for fandom and all of you who fought for this and wanted this should definitely enjoy it and don't let anybody take that away from you because you know we won that's that's basically what it comes down to so yeah that's my um that's my thoughts on the announcement that the snyder cut of justice league is being released let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Are you excited? Could you care less? Well, if you care less, then don't even bother commenting. But if you're excited about it, let me know down in the comments below. We'll have a nice discussion about it. It'll be great. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Talk to you later. Peace out.